We're in the lower gardens to look at our oldest surviving dragon's blood tree, Dracaena draco. Now this tree hasn't always been leaning on its side. It used to be upright and perfectly symmetrical like a giant umbrella until the 2nd of May 2008 when the tree gently lurched. The dragon's blood tree survived and has even thrived, continuing to grow even though it's now on a severe lean. It's surrounded by other plants from the Canary Islands, which is where the dragon's blood trees originate from. These are trees rich in folklore associated with myths and legends and magic. The name dragon's blood tree comes from the sap that comes out of the tree often when the trees are wounded and it's a red color and it's been used medicinally but it's also been traded since the 15th century and it was used in particular as a, as a component of polish and particularly for musical instruments such as Stradivarian violins. The botanical name Dracaena comes from the ancient Greek for dragon and the species epithet Draco also means dragon in Latin or some people think it refers to the Nick name of Francis Drake, the famous British uh, explorer and pirateer. The trees grow for a long time, so it's thought they can grow up to about 300 to 600 years old. And they have an interesting growth pattern, so they don't form true wood. They're not a true tree, they're actually a monocot, so they're more closely related to things like bamboo and grasses. But as they grow and flower, the growing point divides and produces somewhere between three and five new shoots. So the tree grows incrementally after flowering, it doesn't usually start flowering until between 10 and 20 years, but as it sends out those shoots incrementally after each year's flowering, the tree gets often quite a domed and sort of symmetrical canopy, which is of course what this tree had until 2nd of May 2008 when of course it toppled over.